uh, we're going to have to say a bit more about variables. Um, there are two types of variable. There are uh, member variables and there are local variables. Uh, member variables are, are declared um, outside of any of these um, methods. So any method that gets written in the class like that. Um, outside of that is uh, where uh, member variables are declared. Here we got i equals 3, k equals 6, j equals 7, all outside. And the scope, that means where you, whereabouts um, you can actually refer to them and it's basically anywhere within within the class at all you can refer to these variables if you're inside a method. Actually when it comes to initialization it does make a difference. Um, uh, you can't refer to stuff um, before it appears basically but I will come to that later. <laughs> um, Here's a, here's a method here, um, it takes an integer k. Now the presence of that there means that it will suppress that there. So any, anywhere inside of this method, if you refer to k, it will be referring to that one, not to that one. If we look here, system out print line um, i equals what well, i is and j equals whatever j is, will print out i equals 3, j equals 7 is more or less what you'd expect. I is 3 there and J is 7 down there and it can do that even though it's not appeared yet um, because inside a method it's considered that all of all of these um, member variables are well, declared. It's almost as if they're stuck up the front first. Okay, um, we'll look at this next thing I equals 4. Well that applies, that can be used from its point of declaration up until the end of the enclosing block. That means the end of the um, uh, pair of left and right curly brackets that is declared in. So it's from there up until there you can access i. So long as it... yeah, you can access i, yes. Uh, if you try and say k equals 1 at that point there for instance you'll get a compiler error. Well I will give an error because k has already been defined here so you can't can't override that. If we declare a block like this from there to there and put j equals 5 and, if, and you try and print out i and j there you'll get I equals 4 now because that pick up that one that's the closest block um, to that statement there so it searches backwards through the blocks and it finds one there so I equals 4 that's fine and J equals 5 because it will pick up that one. you notice you can't put I, uh, can't redeclare I there because it's already declared an I there so you can't just declare another one and that J will last from there up until the end of the enclosing block, which is there. That means, of course, that if you put another block in, you can declare J another uh, J again, uh, declaring it to be nine this time. But it's quite quite happy to do that because that one has gone out of scope. It basically no longer exists in the system. And if you print it out, you'll get again I equals four. This time J equals nine. And that's what it means. Um, that's what scope is all about. Um, where it's, uh, where it's the start of the declaration to the end of the block in the case of methods, or throughout the entire uh, class in the case of member variables. And there's the two types of variables: member variables there, and local variables there. And um, there's uh, some more to say about local and uh, member variables later.